<laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm home for winter break and I was just going through some old stuff looking for a yearbook and I found this big beautiful box full of all my old college applications. So I thought it'd be fun to go through it because I apply to a lot of colleges, um, a lot of out of state colleges. I'm from Florida and have a lot of experience with applying to college and I thought maybe I'd go through the stuff here and have some useful information or helpful tips and advice for you guys. So yeah, when I started my college search, I was open to absolutely anything. My dream as a kid was to go to college in New York. So I bought this book called Fisk Guide to Colleges. I'll put a link down below for it. Um, and it was a helpful book. It gave a lot of useful information. Um, <laughs> When I went through it, I first looked at colleges only in New York and was only looking at those. But most of the colleges in New York are small schools and like I said at first I didn't know what I wanted but as I was reading about them and figuring out the differences and just figured small schools weren't for me and also most colleges in New York don't offer, don't offer immediate academic scholarship based on scores and such um, and that's what I really needed since getting scholarships can be difficult beyond that, um, really competitive. Yeah, so after I decided that wasn't for me, I started just looking at big state colleges that offered good academic scholarships. And I looked everywhere and anywhere. So I did use Common App. I'm not sure which of these schools I applied to for on Common App, but um, I used that, like I said, since I was applying to so many colleges. So if you're like me and you just don't know where you want to go and you want to apply to a bunch of places, I recommend that. Also, something that the movies and TV shows and books don't tell you about applying to colleges is that it's expensive. Um, <laughs> every college application costs money and then you also have to send them your ACT or SAT score, which is another $10 or $15. So, since they're so expensive, I only applied to schools where I thought there was a chance I would get a good enough scholarship to make it possible to go there. And by possible, I mean affordable. <laughs> so this is the book I used when I first started my college search, and again, I had no idea where I wanted to go. So I kept track of everything in here. Mainly I was looking at like what scholarships they offered, how much they were to apply to, and I didn't know whether I wanted small or big, so it was really hard to narrow down. What was hardest, some colleges are very open about what scholarships they give. They're like, if you apply and you have this score, this is what you'll get. And other colleges are like, we look at everything in a student and it all depends and it varies year to year. Um, and those ones I was less likely to apply to because I didn't want to waste money on application fee. So. Um, also, if I am telling you what scholarships I got from colleges, it is not in any way or means to brag. It is simply to give you like information and insight if you're applying and so hopefully you can gauge like what is possible for you and what kind of scholarship you may get um, comparatively. So. so I separate these all into different packets. So I have South Carolina. Once they gave me a big packet, I like filled it up. So in terms of Florida, I only applied to three schools in Florida and that was simply because my parents wanted me to. Also it's good to have backup options. If you are a student in Florida, people always think you're crazy to go, want to go out of state because we do have Bright Future scholarships um, and now the Bright Future scholarships are worth even more money, which I didn't know until after I already left, but it's fine. But anyway, so I applied to University of Florida, um, got in. Let's see. This says, congratulations, welcome to Gator Nation. And they just told me I was accepted for admission and about deposits and stuff. So University of Florida doesn't really give many um, academic scholarships because there's so many students that want to go there. So they don't bother giving scholarships. I applied to FSU. So if I did stay in state, this is probably where I would have gone since it is North Florida. It does have like a little bit more seasons, but it's still Florida. So they gave me a little sticker. It says now a novel. Oh, okay, so this was my scholarship letter. They give you so much information and stuff. Okay, so I got one letter for admissions and my acceptance. 
And then I got one letter inviting me to apply to the honors program. I'm not sure if I did that. And then another letter about my scholarship. So I got the university freshman scholarship and they just said this is for my academic performance. I think if you looked it up online, there isn't a certain um, score GPA to guarantee you'll get the scholarship. So I'm not too sure about this one. Yeah, so I got the university freshman scholarship for in-state students. And then they gave me all this information that I don't need. <sighs> the last school I applied to was UCF. Um, I did not want to go there because it is very, very close to my home. Um, but I mean, it's a good school, but yeah, look how many letters they sent me. Like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Oh, that's cute. See, I want to know. They have like people, like it looks like people sign this. But I feel, yeah, that's definitely printed. But it makes it feel personable, right? So that was just like an extra congrats letter. In other words, a reminder to be like, hey, pay our deposit fee. <laughs> Something about their living learning communities. So this is my letter of admission. Told me I got accepted. And then this told me about the Burnett Honors College and then gave me how to apply to that. And then a little informational packet. They told me on being, I'm being named a 2017 UCF top 10 night. If you're in a surrounding county of UCF and you're in the top 10% of your high school, then you automatically get admission there. So this is just being like, you were a part of that. So I was awarded, where is it? The Provo Scholarship was pretty much in com combination with Bright Futures and everything, it was pretty much like full tuition. So that was just with my admissions, I didn't do an additional application for that scholarship. But that was just based on scores and GPA and I think my residency, but I'm not sure. Now getting to the out of state colleges, these are in no order, this is just how it's stacked in here. So yeah, so first up is Iowa. Um, I mainly heard of and applied to Iowa because I have a friend who goes there. Um, she's from Florida, but now she goes there. They sent me a, a good amount of mail before I even applied. Like, here's a little poster. And this, what Hawkeye's doing? Okay, so here's my acceptance letter, and this has my acceptance into the school and my scholarship. So I applied to the College of Business. Um, so they accepted me to that and they gave me the old gold scholarship. Iowa got accepted into their honors program, so cool. Oh, they gave me a sticker. So here, like, they gave me a little breakdown of my award and how that would help me and what everything cost. And they also gave me an academic success scholarship. That was about half tuition. So I got half tuition from Iowa, but out of state is still so expensive that half tuition, like, isn't like anywhere near enough. I think they have a good business school. It is super, super far from Florida. I applied there in case I got a really good scholarship and I do know people there, so. There's also Indiana University. They have a really gorgeous campus. My sister, she actually um, was up there for something else, but she drove by campus and she was like, oh, that's really pretty, you should apply there. And I was like, okay. This is my acceptance letter into the Kelly School of Business Bloomington. A letter congratulating me on acceptance into the Hutton Hutton Honors College. And then told me about applying for those scholarships. They give you a little guide to receiving financial aid and like a little breakdown or whatever. So they gave me the Dean Scholarship, which was which was about a third of tuition. So yes, that's cool, but when it's a third tuition and it's out of state, it's still extremely expensive and unaffordable without loans and yada 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 yada. But this is my acceptance with the Dean's scholarship. Look at this paper. So festive, right? And then it tells me about my scholarship notification, a letter from the person, and they told me about more selective scholarships I could apply for in addition to my Dean scholarship. So yeah, when I'm saying these are like half or a third tuition, like there are other scholarships I could apply for. It's just they're way more competitive and most of them I did apply for. But like I said, they're competitive, especially when you're an out-of-state student and they're not really seeking out-of-state students. And then they gave me this whole book thing. 
Oh my gosh, we're having so much fun. Wow. And this is about the Honors College. This was what my scholarship thing came in. Next, we have Stanford University. This is the only college I applied to that's a small private school. It's in Birmingham, Alabama. So I applied there because I looked on their scholarships online and I thought there was a good amount I could get. I actually went up there to interview for a fellowship program, which is one of their scholarships. But the main reason I went up there to interview was because I wanted an excuse to go to Alabama so I could tour also the University of Alabama. So it worked well because I got this really cool interview experience. It was one of the best interviews ever. So much fun. Um, but I got to interview there and then also go toward the University of Alabama, which is where I'm at now. So that worked out. <laughs> See, they had a Sanford parent write you and make it feel all personal and all cute. They give you this really nice booklet. And here's their award package telling you about like what you got, what you're offered. They gave you this banner thing. Isn't this funny? Yeah, sorry, I didn't go there. <laughs> so here's my little my achievement of getting in to Sanford University. So this is congrats and this is my offer of admission. Okay so I got an academic scholarship and a leadership scholarship which combined were about a fourth or almost a third of tuition and then I also like I said I applied for that fellowship program. The problem is they don't stack scholarships so if, if I had gotten into the fellowship program, it would have just replaced the scholarships they gave me and then it only would have been like 5000 more dollars rather than like combined, like making it a reasonable price. But it is a private college, small university. So that's just what it is. But this is my letter about being a finalist for university fellows. The little folder I got when I went there and interviewed. See, this is an additional scholarship I applied for, one of their like random business scholarships that I didn't get. Next, we have the University of South Carolina. This one I actually was really interested in because I liked its location and um, I don't know, I think I knew someone who went there and it sounded like a good school, but here's all of my information. Okay, so this one was interesting. So when I got in, they sent me my acceptance letter and then they accept, sent me this. <laughs> this basically says, you're gonna get a scholarship, congrats. We just don't know which one yet. And so they told me I was getting a scholarship, but they didn't like tell me specifics about it, which I thought was so weird. They encouraged me to apply for their Horseshoe and McNair scholarship, which is a scholarship program for out-of-state students. And I did apply, I don't think I received those. Um, also, every single school you get into, they're going to send you a little ID code and a password. And it's so frustrating because you have to set up an account for every single school, typically. If I look different, it's because my battery died. So I went and ate a chocolate chip pancake and had some iced coffee. And now I'm back. They also sent me this. Cute. Look, I never even opened this. So they sent me this whole thing about financial aid and how they can make it affordable. Oh, they also sent me a sticker. <laughs> they said, they said, you received a merit scholarship, blah, 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 blah. Uh, we're putting our faith in you by offering you a scholarship, blah, 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 blah. Yada, yada, yada. Nope. So this tells me about their business school. So I got accepted into their Darla Moore School of Business. So this is my admissions acceptance letter. They invited me to an honors college thing. This is another personal letter from a professor. So I'm not sure if I said what scholarship I got from South Carolina. It took me forever to find out and that's honestly the one I was waiting on when deciding whether or not to go to Alabama because I also applied for their more competitive scholarships. I'm going to put what I got here. Um, I think it was a half or a third tuition and basically it just wasn't enough to make out of state affordable for me there. We have University of Mississippi. So I actually, this is one of my last minute applications. I wasn't going to apply there, but they're similar to Alabama where they give really, really good scholarships just based on your scores and your GPA. So I just wanted to have a backup option. So this was my backup for out of state. So here's my little letter of admission, I mean not letter, certificate of admission, so fancy. And then 
This is my scholarship letter. So they gave me academic excellence scholarship, ac academic excellence non-resident, and the home scholarship. This is my acceptance letter into the university. And then this is my scholarship letter about all the scholarships they offer. So this is about their financial aid and what they offer. That's why this was my backup because it was my second most affordable out-of-state option. But um, I fell in love with Alabama so I didn't even bother touring the University of Mississippi. We thought about driving over there because it wasn't too too far from Tuscaloosa but I don't really want to. And they also had someone write a personal letter. This one's like actually handwritten. Now that I'm looking at this, I don't think it's handwritten. I think she hand wrote it and then scanned it and then printed it. That is so smart. Wow. She tricked me. This one was good. And again, they gave me a login and set up my own account, yada, yada, yada. Next we have North Carolina State University. <laughs> So this one I mainly applied to because they had a scholarship program that I was really interested in and thought I had a good shot at. It's called the Park Scholarship Program. And so they actually accepted me as a semi-finalist for that before they sent me my acceptance letter or put it in on my account, which I thought was funny. So I did a phone interview with them, but I didn't move past that point. So they did accept me into their pool college of management. This is my acceptance. It came in this big red envelope thing and they gave me a sticker. Everyone gave me a sticker except Alabama. So I was really interested in them. North Carolina is super beautiful, really great place to live. Um, and like I said, they looked like they gave better scholarships than UNC, which just would have been crazy unaffordable. So it just said, congratulations, offer you admission. I think they gave me some academic scholarship, but I think they only gave that to me online and they never sent me a letter. So I was really interested in that Perk Scholarship Program, but again, really highly competitive. There was a phone interview and then there would have been, I think, a visit to campus and like another interview. Um, but yeah, that would, that would have been insane though. That gives you full ride, like books, room and board, everything. So that's the only reason I really applied there was because if I got that, then obviously it would have been affordable because <laughs> it would have been paid for. And then next we have Ohio University. I wasn't really interested in Ohio at all. They sent me something to give me free admission, but like I said earlier, even though it's a free application, you still have to do send them your ACT or SAT score. So it wasn't completely free, so I probably shouldn't have applied, but again, I was just so open to anything and had no idea what I wanted. Me stuff about financial aid. Official Bobcat. This was about accepting me into the business college and activating my Ohio ID. So I got the Ohio Achievement Scholarship, Ohio Distinction Scholarship, and Ohio Trustee Award. And these were all renewable year to year. So those just came with my admissions. I didn't do an additional application for those. And I mainly applied as a backup out of state option. Invitation is enclosed, ooh la la. See, here's the letter. You are invited to apply to Ohio University with a waived application fee. So I'm not sure how they found me. Oh, they said use the fee waiver for Common App. So I think they found me on Common App somehow. I'm not sure how that worked. And that's the only reason I applied. Yeah, see it says I caught their attention. Okay, so here's my financial aid award letter. Oh, I also got the Ohio Pathway Scholarship. This does not tell you how much it costs to go there. So I, with those combined scholarships, they're all small amounts, but combined it would have been half tuition, um, which again, just isn't nearly enough when you're talking about out of state without getting loans. And I wasn't that interested in the college anyway, but like I said, they gave me a free application, so that's why I did that. All right, next we have the University of Tennessee. So they sent me this huge informational, beautiful packet thing. All right, here's my congrats letter. Um, so this, they put my admissions and scholarship in the same one. So this is congrats on my admission to the Haslam College of Business. And they offer me the UT Volunteer Scholarship. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, so the Volunteer Scholarship, 
there's like three different levels and I got the second level and that was just based on my score yeah so they gave me about half tuition so again not including room and board and having to pay the other half it's just too much for out of state oh look this is their letter I thought it was cute So now I hate them because I go to Alabama. <laughs> Here it is. The Honors Leadership Program. This was a separate application and I became a part of their Honors Leadership Program, which I thought would help me get more scholarships, but basically it's just a living learning community. So yeah, again, I thought this was a nice location because it was Southeast um, and Tennessee is also a beautiful state. But um, yeah, oh see, they had someone write me a personal letter. This one I think is real. And they even looked at my high school. Wow, so personable. Thanks, Stephanie. So I think they like hire students to do these and make you feel special. Which I mean, it's sweet, but like, waste of paper, guys. Waste of paper. Um, I also applied to some other small schools. They had, I'm going to look up the name of it and put it here if I find it. But at my school, they kept talking about the scholarship night and you just go and like you may get scholarships on the spot and it's so cool. I didn't know what it was. It sounded kind of sketchy to me. I was like, that's weird. Like, why are they doing this? So I went and it was scholarships to specific schools. Um, and they weren't the type of schools for me. Um, so I'll put the like three schools I applied to when I was there. Because um, I was like, I drove all this way, like I might as well do something. So one of the schools, the guy on the spot was like, yeah, if you just apply, like I'll give you everything full ride. But it was just a really small school and not meant for me, really. I'm going to try and find my University of Alabama stuff. Actually, I think it's in Alabama. Hey guys, so I look a mess now, but I just found my University of Alabama letters and information. I thought it was in my dorm, um, but it was actually here, just in a different desk drawer, stowed away. This is my letter of admission, just saying I got into the University of Alabama, and then they sent a separate letter with scholarship information, and I got the presidential scholarship, which is full tuition for out of state, and that was just based on my GPA and test scores which is really amazing and that's what made Alabama affordable for me. This is my acceptance into the Honors College. That was a separate application after I got in. It was simple, but um, yeah, so I'm in their Honors College program. And then this was a separate letter inviting me to apply for their University Fellows, which is a part of the Honors College. I did apply for that, but um, it was one of those highly competitive things and I didn't um, move forward with that, but that's okay. Oh, this is cool. So like I said, they try to send you letters from people at the university or students to make you feel personable and things like that. Um, so this is a letter from someone who's from Central Florida who went to University of Alabama. So, and they talked about the regional recruiter and stuff and gave some information. Um, so that's cool. But this was an invitation to a reception they had here in Orlando. So Alabama, they really seek out-of-state students. 50% of the undergrad is from out-of-state, so they have events all across the country, I guess. I'm not really sure. Um, so I actually went to this. It was in Orlando, and it would just had some speakers, and you got to meet people and other students involved in Alabama. Sent me this little booklet thing. So cute. This was the packet I got at the event I went to, but they would also give you this if you went on a tour there. And it's just about their um, out-of-state scholarships and more information about their program. Yeah, and then this details their scholarships. They have changed slightly this year, um, so it is a bit more it is a bit more difficult to get the full tuition, but um, they still give away so much money. I'll give you all these like little informational cards for information. <laughs> this, I think they sent this to my school and I got this on our scholarship night, but it just has a little A and then it says like presidential scholarship. Congrats. So this is all the information I got when I went and toured at Alabama. They gave me another one of these. These are the packets they gave me when I went and toured there. So this is the general one they give everyone. 
and it just had their campus visitors guide and see they put I spilled coffee on it typical they gave me a little schedule of the day and everything I did just general information so they gave me this when I first got there and then they gave me this honors one when I went to the honors college information session college is so much paperwork <laughs> And then when I met with the business advisor, oh my gosh, my hair is crazy. She gave me this one and it gave and she provided me a lot of information on how their business programs work and the whole major and classes you take and things like that. So and again, I spilled coffee on it. So yeah, so that was all my Alabama stuff. So when I was applying to all these colleges, all of them have different dates in terms of admissions, scholarships, honors applications some of when your payments do housing things like that so much crazy prices and dates and stuff so i made an excel spreadsheet and kept track of everything i was doing so that was my college application process yeah it was a lot but i'm really happy with where i ended up so yeah, so if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below. I go to the University of Alabama and I post a lot of college content and I'm headed back next week. Um, watch the national championship game. Hopefully we'll win. Why is my hair a mess? Okay. Bye.